Major Lee, a pleasure to have you with us this morning. Thank you so much. Well, it's my my honor, really. Good, good, because good. Because I hope to speak for my company, which is a baker company, a rifle company. When we went uh, from Incheon So around the peninsula up to Wonsan and move on out towards the Chosen Reservoir, there was a small town called Sudong. Now the the time was the date was around the first and second of November. That was when the Chinese first were encountered by the Marines. They had one division that attacked the 7th Marine Regiment, which was a spurhead regiment throughout the Chosen Reservoir fighting. We were attacked and uh, partially overrun as far as the frontline companies were concerned. But we punished the enemy and uh, again, uh, demonstrated the, the effectiveness of a Marine Corps uh, firepower and, uh, and training. And uh, that was when uh, I was first wounded at the Battle of Sudong. We had tried to maintain the uh, very strategic uh, vital pass called Tokton Pass out there, where uh, the 5th Marines, and the seventh Marines were north towards uh, Yudamni, which was the farthest most place. And Tokton Pass was uh, where uh, a very dramatic battle took place, and and uh, I took part in that in in a night operation to assure that this pass was kept in friendly hands so that the 8,000 Marines north of this point could, uh, well, we would facilitate their break breakout from, from the north. When we were reduced down to very basic elementals uh, in, in, in this night attack, can you imagine a night attack extending 10 miles across uncharted, unknown territory? No opportunity for reconnaissance or anything else like that. Unknown enemy dispositions, 20, 30 degrees be below zero, with a blizzard blowing in your face, and you at the point leading 500 men on an urgent mission and, uh, at night time and uh, with no visible uh, uh, terrain features for orientation. It's like shadow boxing with a blindfold on and, uh, and yet you're responsible to lead this whole battalion. Nobody gave me orders or instructions. Nobody changed anything that I did out there because I probably knew more than any of the others did. And, uh, and, uh, and all this, the success of this uh, very vital, uh, his historic night-night uh, operation was based on what I learned at uh, Junior ROTC. <laughs> That's what uh, made a success of this uh, historic venture. I had the honor 
to lead a machine gun platoon into the Incheon Landing as the division reserve about was about one week after the initial assault forces. And later on, to be with the Marines when they went up on the east coast to Wonsan, up towards the Chosen Reservoir. The performance of the Marines in Korea, stemming from the very beginning and until the last battles in the outposts and bunkers, I think uh, really, uh, really bolsters our image in every every way.